Sadi, successful shutdown job on all Australian forward Eddie Betts. What was the coach's message to you before the game? Yeah, he came, look, he came off a, a really good game in the first snap, kicked six goals. So the the coach just wanted me to shut him down and just you know take him out of the game. So that's what I tried doing, just implement what I've learned over the preseason. And I just went into this game really wanting, I didn't want him to get a kick, I guess. So um, I, I think I, I thought I did okay. So. He ran, you around, he ran you around a lot and obviously dragged you back to the goal square every chance he got. You look pretty spent in that last quarter. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, I am. I'm buggered because it's, it's my second game back since, um, well, Serge so was since, I think, Essendon the last year, which was in August. But, yeah, he runs around. I, I felt like I had a bit of a plan in place where you just always bump a bar him and just send him where I want to go. And um, I think that worked tonight. But... Um, yeah, as, as I said previously, I just want to defend well and just attack on the other side and let them defend, I guess. I'm sure you'll learn plenty tonight. What's the biggest individual takeout you have from the game? Individual um, players like Betts, great players, small forwards of the game. They can, they can be having a bad day, but they can just switch it on with one goal or one piece of play. So we've got to, I've got to be on my game 100% of the time and I can't really lapse in concentration, which has been a bit of a, a deficiency of mine. But... Um, yeah, I thought I'm working on that and improving that. So, must give you a lot of confidence being able to do a shutdown job on one of the premier small forwards of the competition, though. Yeah, like, I couldn't have done it the, without the, the help of the team, the back six especially. Like Stephen May always directing and helping me out, and um, Roy Thompson and Trent Lemons and Harbour, all those blokes. So, I guess it's, a, it's just a collective. We, we, we collectively defended well, and we nearly got the job done today. Talk us through that chase down in the second quarter. He's he's quick, but you showed you got just as much speed. Yeah. He, he got me at the front and centre. He just got to a really good spot. As I, as I said, he gets, always gets in the good spots. But I just just dug in. I did, didn't want him to score a goal. So I, I sprinted as fast as I can. And luckily, I got him on the line and just, yeah, turned over, which is good. Even though it's only the pre-season, it's uh, probably disappointing to let them get away from this in that third quarter there. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, look, we missed our opportunities in the first quarter. And I think yeah, throughout the whole game, we had four more scoring shots. But we'll learn from this. We'll do the review on Monday. And we'll just go forward from here. So looking forward to it. It's going to be pleasing the way the boys bounced back in the last quarter. They never really gave up. Yeah, it was good. I think the first 15 minutes we scored three, four goals and got back within 12 points. But I think the experience in the class overcame us in the end. But as I said, we can take a lot out of this and we're looking forward to the season and round one. Just finally, round one, two weeks away. Uh, what do we need to do to get right for the Bombers? Um, well, firstly, we just need to recover well, get on the train really well. And um, I guess what we've done the whole pre-season is put that into games and put us in good stead and hopefully we can get a few of our players back. So... Thanks for your time, mate. Thanks, mate.